Hey, what is up my homeboys and homegirls? We're gonna be talking about the iPad Air 2 and how it holds up in 2018, bro. I'm about to drop this thing. Before I even say, actually, before I say anything, let me show you guys something. So I wanna show you guys, look at these birds, you see them? Like, what are these things, dude? These are actually my parakeets. Let's do a little hands-on review right now, all right? So let's try to grab them. They're really friendly, they just like freak out sometimes. How wild is that, dude? I've had those little gerbils for like, and I don't really know what else to do with them because they're always bored and all the time. So I figured I'd put them in the video. They were like trying to get me to like put them in the video earlier. So I figured I'd do it. But I'm also doing the Xbox One giveaway so in order to enter all you have to do is just add me on all the social networks and subscribe to the channel all the links to my social networks are in the description so it's super easy to enter and i'm actually going to position this so it's a little easier to hold because i'm sick and tired of holding it like this all right so i hope this overhead shot looks pretty dope but i still think the body looks really really amazing still i'm not going to say it looks like completely up to date because there are some bezels on the side of it um the bottom and top bezels are pretty big they're always going to stay like that but even like the newer ipads have the same type of bezel on the bottom but i think this looks super awesome and it even has a fingerprint sensor on the front i think this was the first ipad that had the fingerprint sensor this or the ipad mini 3 one or the other but yeah the, i still think the body looks super amazing there's also a camera on the back and a front camera on the front obviously the front camera but now turning on the ipad you have ios 11.2.2 which is the newest version it supports and surprisingly i actually think ios 11 was specifically made for this ipad i tried running this on my ipad mini 3 as well and it does not work good at all like i don't understand what apple's doing right now but on the ipad mini 2 like no matter what i do it's just so smooth like you can see just like all the animations and like going into safari for example and hopping out and even just like web browsing and stuff like that so like i mean just like overall performance i think i would rate it honestly like like an 8 or 9 out of 10 like i have literally ran into no hiccups whatsoever it's just like everything i do like you can just see like going in and out i really rarely run into any hiccups whatsoever let's just search up simple alpaca on soundcloud i heard he makes really cool music so let's just look it up uh let's just listen to his new song and the speakers on this thing aren't that bad either it has two uh, speakers on the bottom uh, so this is my new song all right so yeah you guys kind of get the idea if you haven't heard that yet actually go to soundcloud.com slash the bell pack and listen to that it's a pretty dope song but just overall performance i mean even like here if i'm multitasking i can easily go into here hop out and i can go into let's say notes not a huge task at all but i can hop out of that come over here Let's go ahead and just bust open, like, let's go ahead and go open Google Chrome. We can hop out of that. We can go into Instagram, for example, and we can even hop out of that. Because it has two gigabytes of RAM and it has a triple core processor, it can handle a lot of stuff you throw at it. And I think this is the only device I know of that has a triple core processor at an, an Apple device. I don't know any other device that has a triple core processor. It's so strange. It does have the A8X Apple chip, which some people say might be a little dated. The main thing is that two gigabytes of RAM, it, they really kind of future-proofed it there. If they put one gigabyte of RAM, I would have literally sued Apple but the fact that they put two gigs really kind of you know really prolonged its life a little bit but i'm guessing ios 12 is going to slow down this device because apple just has a tendency of doing that kind of stuff but on ios 11 right now even though it sucks on every other device i still think it's super awesome on here now gaming is pretty similar to that as well like if i'm running any game on here for example well i'm not even gonna be able to. just know that huge and intensive games do run fairly well i just haven't downloaded any on here yet because i had to freaking restore it like whatever you throw at it this this ipad will be able to 100 handle it even the iPad Air 1 was able was was pretty you know decent i would say in gaming and stuff but this one just just imagine like an iphone 6s but in a, a tablet format this is that's basically what this ipad air 2 is and if the 6s or 6s plus can handle an app, a game or app so can this thing and it's pretty much the same exact specs the ipad air 2 is a little bit faster though i would say and i have noticed with some other apple devices that the some games do make the uh device heat up a little bit but for this ipad i have really run into no heat ups or anything like that the only times i have seen it heat up is when i go to update it and if it's a huge update and it takes like a couple minutes then it's gonna heat up a little bit but other than that it's like perfectly fine my bad the battery died but yeah the biggest problem i have with the ipads is it's not just this ipad specifically is that some apps aren't ported correctly so for this one for example on this instagram you can see i have black bars on the side it's pretty much exactly what i have on my iphone but on the ipad i really wish they ported them a little bit better like i understand at least like the ipad has the access to get into instagram and stuff like that but i just find it super weird that they never really like did it correctly I androids have it a little bit better because it doesn't like add the black bars everywhere and doesn't look like so weird so i really wish they fixed that somehow i don't think they will it's always been like that and apps like snapchat and i believe twitter has the same problem as well but snapchat for sure and it's really weird that they did that but something that i love with this ipad specifically is the battery life i don't think i've ever seen another ipad that has battery life like this apple really knocked it out of the park you can literally set this ipad aside 
for like months and months that you can come back to it and it will only drop like two or three percent it's like freaking amazing how they did that now granted this battery life on this specific ipad is a little bit worse than the air one honestly like it's not even that big of a difference like you're talking like three four percentage like i guess in battery life difference but i really appreciate the battery life on this so to sum up pretty much this thing is going to get ios 12 i'm like 99 percent sure so this thing will last you at least another year or two and the best thing about it is that these things aren't even that expensive anymore so you can literally get one anywhere from like 150 to like 250 dollars and it's still like amazingly fast tablet like i see my ipad mini 3 that one was super slow in my opinion with ios 11 running on it but now like this one is just like super fast and i'm sure if i compare this to like an ipad pro or something it'll be a little bit slower but just from me using it right now like i can't even tell like again this is my main tablet i use whenever i use a tablet so i really like this and i don't really have any problems or like anything bad to say per se but like it's really cool and like i said i don't get how like ios 11 sucks so bad on all my other devices but on my ipad air 2 i've been doing tests and you can even look back on my channel of like ipad of ios 11 updates and stuff like that and every single update i was saying that this ipad is like super amazing how it handles ios 11 and i don't think ios 12 or anything is going to ruin it and i think this ipad's only getting better and better with ios 11 so this has my seal of approval if you guys want to get this ipad now i would highly suggest it it's a super dope tablet and i'll even leave links in the description if you guys want to pick one up so you can help out the channel and you know get one yourself but that is pretty much it. Also check out fenwa.com slash gear that has all the gear I use, all the phones, gaming systems, everything I have. It's being updated like weekly, I would say. I, I'm, I'm lagging a little bit, I understand, but I really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions. If you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear it. Leave a like as well, that means so much. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.